So what's new in 2025 with the Tesla Powerwall 3 system? One, we've got the Tesla remote meter now. That means you can pair this system up with existing solar. And with that Tesla remote meter, it's gonna AC couple your existing solar with the Tesla Powerwall 3. So if you have existing solar and you wanna add maybe some new solar and some energy storage, you can do so. And with that Tesla remote meter, it's gonna monitor that other system and it's gonna take that extra PV output and it's gonna use that to charge the batteries as well. And that way it's gonna prevent you from sending that power back to the grid, especially in those locations where you may or may not be getting full one-to-one -one net metering credits for that uh, existing PV output. Maybe when the sun is not shining um, in the winter, everything's covered with snow, whatever the case may be. Uh, a lot of other systems out there, you can use a standby generator to charge that battery bank back up in an emergency. Tesla Powerwall 3, that's not something you can do. But what the remote meter can do is it can monitor that generator output downstream and kind of have a cascading system where the Tesla Powerwall 3 is the first line of defense in an outage. And then if for whatever reason you drain your battery bank down to zero in the middle of the night um, or during an extended outage, that generator can be kind of the second line of defense and, and kick that uh, kick on and provide uh, backup power for you until your solar charges your batteries back up.